Hello and welcome to the channel YouTube World, one of my one-off videos that I don't normally make about guitar, music, and all that stuff. Let's get right down to business and cut the bullshit. If you notice that there is an update for your Bias Effects 2, which would bring you to version 2.1.9.4885, do not update. Stay on 2.1.8 point whatever the hell it is because now I got to use my other mouse because I'm actually running my Mac mini that I got from a thrift store for 20 bucks it's a 210 but it works wonderful uh, for bias effects if I go and click on one of these presets you're going to notice that you get a very interesting message that actually doesn't make any sense whatsoever okay I'm not known for music on my YouTube channel, but I know enough to say this. This preset requires Bias Amp 2 uh, Professional. Please purchase them to use this uh, preset, or in some other cases, you need the uh, standard. As most of you know, if you're watching this video, there is no such thing as requiring Bias Amp to use that preset in Bias Effects 2. You only need Bias Amp if you're going to open up the amps and start tweaking them. But if somebody else bought the program, they want to share with you what they did on the Tone Cloud, you can do that without having to purchase it. I know that for a fact because it's on my, uh, it's on the uh, website uh, that I went to, actually. There's a, sorry, there's an FAQ. I might post a link down in the description box if you don't believe me. Uh, and it's somewhere in there where it basically states that that is basically like a false message. That's all I wanted to share with you. I don't have like a fix or anything like that. Uh, but And I'm not a popular YouTuber. I'm not PewDiePie. So it's not like I can warn millions of people around the world. Uh, but that is what's going on. Because funny enough, there was some issues in uh, the prior version up until just a few hours ago today. Uh, that was concerning something about not reading the licenses properly for Bias Amp. And funny enough, now we have this issue where it thinks that we need them all. I've only been able to manage to get uh, one preset to work that I downloaded from the Tone Cloud that doesn't ask me for Bias Amp, and it's the uh, Money Solo from Pink Floyd. The only other workaround, if you will, uh, for your presets I guess you could do is go back to the tone cloud and just go to preview. I know it's kind of inconvenient. If you're like dying to dial into one of these presets, right? You could just kind of play around on the uh, on the preview window, which is actually what I've been doing. I actually just bought a guitar again uh, about a month ago. Uh, guitar was on sale, just a, a cheap one for about 500 bucks. And I've been procrastinating on and off for 30 years, you know, doubting my playing ability and all that. So I've been getting a little bit better the last few days. I actually broke through uh, one of the biggest plateaus in the world by simply playing with backing tracks and not having vocals, playing something that's not too fast, like Metallica in Flames, uh, Pantera kind of stuff, and more of like a blues rock kind of thing. And I've probably made my biggest jump uh, in the last 48 hours than I have in the last 30-something years. It's been absolutely insane. So the point is, when I just bought this, uh, I think it was yesterday that I bought the Bias FX uh, 2. I bought the standard pack and I bought the uh, the metal pack. I was really excited. I tried other programs like Axiom and, and all that. And I think Axiom by Blue Cats is an uh, amazing product. But for me, and maybe I'll get into that someday, uh, I just find that this program is better. Notice what I did there. I, I stress the quotations a lot because uh, a lot of it is personal preference. It's like Coke or Pepsi. Um, I actually prefer Diet Pepsi, not because it's got no sugars or carbs, but because my taste buds tell me it's the best. Don't ask what that was. So yeah, sorry if I'm rambling all over the place. A little stressed out, the whole thing going on in the world. Plus, I just naturally have uh, ADHD really bad and pretty bad anxiety, so I'm just kind of generally uh, high-strung in general, and I talk a lot and I ramble all over the place. But hopefully I got to the point fairly quickly. Don't fucking update.
that's really the message for today to potentially save even if it's just one person uh, today from updating until we come out well not we I don't work for positive grid until they I should say come up with a fix to uh, to rectify this issue so yeah so if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video go ahead give it a thumbs down and I'll just make sure when you load bias effects 2 you get nothing there's no presets nothing it's blank and uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. I generally do some goofy, silly, not-so-funny Batman impressions and uh, a lot of video games. And then a small part of my channel, like 10-15-ish percent of it, is like the one-off videos like this. And uh, just some rambling, just some like what's on my mind kind of thing. So really nothing special. And uh, so yeah, take care, stay safe. I'll see you, maybe, in the next video if I get an update or if I notice that it's fixed. I will uh, either make another video or I'll pin a comment, whatever, and just let you know what's going on uh, to let you know that it's safe to go to the next version, basically. So yeah, see you all in the next video. Bye for now.